Hello and welcome to this episode of the One on One Sports Webcast. I'm Jason Phillips. And I'm Evan Piercy. Today we'll be discussing the Heisman race, undefeated teams in the NFL, as well as have a preview of the upcoming NBA season. But first, we're up to home plate for the three strikes. Tim Tebow's baseball career began with a home run during his first professional at-bat. That's right, Tebow time is back. Now, there's almost no chance that Tebow ever amounts to anything in the MLB, but he'll be forever remembered as the man with the most famous home run in an instructional league. Evan, has the coverage surrounding Tebow been too much or a good amount? What do you think? I mean, it's definitely been a lot. You got Tim Tebow going against high school pitchers who just mm -hmm. got drafted. I mean, it's 18 years old versus yeah. 33. Yeah. The thing is, it. though, people want to hear about Tebow. People love Tebow time. ESPN loves Tebow time. We're talking about <laughs> Tebow. I mean, I like him. I like the guy. Like I think okay. it's really interesting to see what he accomplished. You know, the Mets took a you know, low risk, possible high reward mm -hmm. in what Tebow can bring with that arm coming from the I don't think he's going to amount to anything, though. You never know. You I ne think he you could. You never do know, but, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Last week, the Yankees and Red Sox faced off in Yankee Stadium in an end-of-the-year series between the two. Now, the play on the field was almost flawless, but in the stands, not so much. The biggest error of the series turned out to be when a fan dropped the engagement <laughs> ring mid-proposal. Now, I mean... What are you, you going to do? Like, first off, a stadium proposal. What do you feel about that? Personally, I would never do that because you have thousands of people watching you, and when something goes wrong, like it did, <laughs> all of those people are watching you. You're going to be remembered forever on YouTube. The poor guy. I mean, his face was just <clears throat> horror, just yeah. straight horror. You know, the ring's on the ground. He doesn't know where it is. Yeah, he was, like, swimming through seats. I don't know what he was doing. I mean, I don't know what to tell him. I mean, you know, in the end of the day, an E is for effort. Yes. And, you know, we here wish him, wish them a very long and happy marriage. Yeah, but I'm surprised you said yes, to be honest with you. <laughs> Richard Sherman sounded off on the NFL in a video he released through the Players' Tribune in which he said that the players have no reason to trust the NFL. Sherman discussed player safety by bringing up the beating Cam Newton took during his game against the Denver Broncos. The relationship status between Sherman and the NFL? It's complicated. Evan, does Sherman have a point here? I think he does have a point. I mean, the NFL tried to cover up the whole concussion issue, and then you saw that explode a couple years back. You see them trying to now, you know, come back against that, creating all these new rules, and then you see stuff like this yeah. with Cam Newton just being absolutely demolished. My, my problem with it is, though, this is a business. The NFL is a business. These players know they're the, playing an extremely dangerous sport. They get paid so much money to do it. But a business really needs to, uh, you know, protect... Protect the investments. Protect You're the right. investments. And that's what it is. That's what the NFL is. And they really need to do a better job. So I completely agree with Richard Sherman. And I think it's about time players start to speak out against the NFL. Yeah, and I mean, the whole Cam Newton thing, he did take a beating that night. He probably should have come out, but yeah. no one wants to see Derek Anderson in there in opening <laughs> night. No one's going to buy a Derek Anderson jersey. Just not going to happen. I might. Three strikes, we're out, onto the show. We'll all be headed to the gridiron to talk some good old college football. <laughs> 